Hi little foxes. Today we're going to read a new story and it's called Sam Sandwich by David Pelham. I've got my special friend Felix Fox here with me. Have you got yours? Then let's begin. Sam's sister liked to sit and dream of donuts filled with chocolate cream, giant burgers, heaps of fries, frosty shakes and cherry pies. Shortly after Sunday luncheon, Samantha wanted more to munch on. Oh, Sam, she wailed, what can I eat? I need a very special treat. Let's get some butter and some bread and make a sandwich, sis, Sam said. His greedy sister beamed with joy. Let's raid the larder, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, Sam, I'm starving, quick and spread the butter really thick. Don't worry, sis, smirked Sam. You'll never eat a tastier sandwich ever. Samantha yelped. I've never seen lettuce leaves so crispy and green. But as a tasty little filler, Sam popped in a caterpillar. In the fridge, Samantha found big tomatoes, red and round, while in the garden, Sam had dug a hole and found a slimy <gasps> slug. Samantha gave Sam's hand a squeeze. Just come and try this yummy cheese. But in the pocket of his pants, Sam had saved some big black ants. I think, she said, I'll flavour it with watercress, my favourite. Meanwhile, Sam thought he would try to add a little flavour with a fly. Here's a tasty little number. Samantha sliced a huge cucumber. This will really make her squirm. Sam dropped in a wriggly worm. And some hard-boiled eggs as well, Samantha drooled and cracked a shell. But Sam had seen a silver trail that led him to a crunchy snail. Don't forget some nice salami. She sliced enough to feed an army. The perfect place for Sam to hide her. Very large and hairy. Spider. Gosh, she gasped. More favourite things. Slicing some onion rings. One ring contained a little hole in which Sam slipped a small tadpole. Samantha yelled. It's finished there. Splashing ketchup everywhere. But Sam still felt that it might need a creepy crawly centipede. Licking ketchup from her lips, she reached her sticky fingertips towards the plate and grabbed the bread. Would you like some, Sam? She said. Thank you, sis. You're very kind. But count me out if you don't mind. I'm full. I'm stuffed. I really am. So you can have it all, said Sam. The end. Well, Felix was inspired by that story and decided to make me a sandwich. I hope there aren't any bugs in this, Felix. Thanks for listening to my story. Bye. See you soon.